Team Touche. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna do a really quick recipe of my favorite Mexican rice. First, we're gonna cut up our veggies. I put a towel under my board so that it does not slide. Don't mind my nails, I need to get them done. So I just like to cut them in nice big chunks. Yellow onion, all complete. Love bell pepper. Bell pepper is the best. Bell peppers and onions, all done. Now our garlic. Next are the pepperoncinis. Optional if you don't like spicy. All of our veggies. Now that our veggies are all cut, we are going to get one cup of rice and we are gonna brown our rice first before we start to put our veggies in. I'm gonna light my stove medium heat. Put in some olive oil, glaze your pot, your one cup of rice. You are going to stay over this pot pretty much the entire time. You don't want to walk away too long because your rice will burn. So if it starts looking like it's getting dry, definitely put some more olive oil as you please. We are now going to brown our rice. I'll show you once it starts getting more brown and how it'll look. So get your measuring cup and get two cups of water. Okay, so I have my two cups of water. Tomato bouillon. Two tablespoons. Put that in your water. We're going to heat this up. If you heat up your water and your tomato bouillon for 30 seconds, that should be enough. Now let's get back to our rice. I'm going to add more olive oil. I do use extra virgin olive oil. Put some more olive oil. I'm going to mix my water and tomato bouillon. This is how it should look. With this process of browning the rice, it is easier for it to not get really mushy and to stick together during the boiling process. More olive oil. Once the rice gets nice and brown, I will add the veggies. I'll see you then. It's coming together really nicely. As you can see, some brown pieces. We want the majority of the rice to be nice and brown. If you see this piece right down here. Yes! looking good. You don't want it to sit too long because it will burn. You just want to stay here and mix it. I don't care how hot it gets. I do not leave from the stove. All I will do is maybe lower the temperature, but that's about it. Right now, I have the temp down at like in between three and four. It's starting to look really nice. Almost time for the veggies. So our onions, bell pepper, garlic, and hot peppers. Mix that all in. You want to get your veggies nice and soft. It smells so good. A little bit longer for the veggies to soften before I put my water with tomato bouillon. You want it to get to a nice boil. So I'm going to turn the heat back up to three. I want all of the veggies and seasonings to marry. Once that is done, then we will put the lid on. 
Okay, so we have a really nice boil going on. I'm going to stir, and if the boil is still rapid, then it is time. Nope, not yet. Touche is back after like 10 seconds. So I stir it, and it goes right back to the boil. So now, our lid. Now we're gonna turn it down to low. Down to low. Can you hear me nicely? Okay, this is really, really serious. Like, <clears throat> Wake up, kids. Make sure that you listen to this really, really, really well. Okay, first, before I do that, 22 minute timer. Now that we got the 22 minute timer going on. Okay, you guys. Ouch. <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hot in here. You know, I've been over the, the rice browning it and everything but look i gotta tell you something very very important and very serious for this recipe that lid right there you do not i don't think you guys heard me you do not remove the lid you don't remove the lid you just keep the lid on until you're ready to eat okay sorry that was just a little too much i think i'm gonna do it again don't remove the lid <laughs> <laughs> do not open no don't I think I like that one. Don't remove the lid. 22 minutes, don't remove the lid. You got it? Comment below just to make sure I think you guys got it, but don't remove the lid, okay? Oh, you're wondering why I have that pot there? That's because it was my camera prop. <laughs> okay, know. okay, okay, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. We're still not removing the lid yet. Just gonna move this bad boy right over here. There we go. Don't remove the lid. Oh yeah, okay. Don't remove the lid until you are ready to serve. You got it? Dun, 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 dun. So I have yet to remove the lid. One, two, three. Yummy. It smells super delicious. And the rice came out perfectly. Mmm. There is our Mexican rice. Alrighty, now time to serve. Final product. Time to taste it. Hey guys, so I just finished making my Mexican rice. Sorry, this lighting is really bad because I decided to start filming when the sun went down. Let's see. Oh, there we go, changed the brightness. Now it looks like sunlight again. I just finished making my rice. It smells delicious. I can't wait to try it for you guys and let you know how it goes. This is my first time doing this all by myself. I got this recipe from a family friend, Alicia. Thank you so much. Shout out to Alicia. She literally taught me how to make this so easy. Anybody could do it. And let's dive in. Uh, oh my God. best teacher in the world because I learned how to make this oh my gosh I learned how to make this in no time I've probably eaten like how many cups by myself of rice I don't know but I've been eating a lot of rice lately I'm trying to gain some weight this is so good. Like, I think one day, probably soon, because I love making this. I think I want to make it with like either chicken or like steak, shrimp, whatever. Like, you can definitely add meat. However, this is a nice vegetarian rice. 
that is so good with literally anything. It's so flavorful and the fact that you have your onions, your bell peppers, you also have your hot peppers. I threw some cilantro on top. It's amazing. Mm, 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 mm. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Make sure that you share this with your friends. And kiddos, you can do this. Just make sure your mom is around so that you don't burn the rice when you're browning it. But I think you got this. Make your mommy proud. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you comment below to let me know what you'd like to see next. And I will see you guys soon. Make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe.